Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field. Strengthen up your aura like Goku. Balance out psychologically and emotionally. Strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence. Get yourself a plant-based diet going today and nurture yourself back into life. We are herbivores. Balance out your physical body's pH level and get with alkalinity, then generate some static electricity. Send me some love telepathically. Set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate. That is all there is to telepathy. You are now tuning in to great days. Now today I got a very, very, very special video. And it's all about enlightenment what it is and I'm even going to tell the story on exactly uh, how or I'm going to tell the story of Gautama Buddha's enlightenment and it's going to be a great video so get relaxed get peaceful get outside tune in today's video is enlightenment Gautama Buddha's enlightenment, okay? And I feel very inclined to tell this story because I do revolve or I do uh, take a liking to Buddhism myself. And his enlightenment actually took place today, May 26th, around 2,500 years ago on the full moon. So... Let's get right into it. For one, Gautama Buddha was always, always known as that very, very good student. In the way that he, under certain masters, would basically master the different disciplines or the different teachings within literal weeks while other people would take months upon months to master what he would master in weeks. So Gautama was always a very great student to his masters, okay? So basically Gautama went on to master eight different samadhis and samadhis if you do not know are actually like a certification for mystical attainment okay a samadhi or samadhi is a certain state of equanimity in which intellect goes beyond its normal function of discrimination and if you do not know what intellect is intellect is the dim dimension of our mind that breaks things down okay so, when it goes beyond its normal function with, an, with a state of equanimity or its normal function of discrimination, my bad, this in turn loosens one from one's physical body that there then is a space between you and your body. So, samadhi is basically a uh, mystical experience because it creates a space between you and your body by going beyond the intellect and its discriminatory functioning by creating states of equanimity, okay? And he went and learned eight different samadhis for enlightenment or uh, for that 
you know, basic ecstasy or that blissful experience or that um, wholeness of life. He learned eight different samadhis and he then decided for himself that it was still not enough. It still wasn't um, enough for him to attain to his enlightenment or for him to come into an enlightened state. So after learning the eight different samadhis, he went to learn samsaras, which samsaras had him uh, basically not being able to eat because the samsaras that he was within only allowed him to eat if the food was given to him but he could never ask so he could never ask for food from another person only if it was given to him without asking then he would be able to eat so he went upon or he went and took on samsaras and he basically started starving he then went very frail and he was literally flesh and bones and he went very weak okay so one day he then went to the riverbed or a riverbed or a river bank sorry he went to a river bank and he was very very starving he was hungry like i said because that's what uh the samsaras had him do in order to basically disidentify with the body and relinquish some of that attachment which brings about a state of suffering so in starving the body he was able to embody more of the environment around him all right but like i said he made his way to the riverbank and he was literally on the verge of death because he was not eating all right he did not he did not get offered food so he was on the verge of death when he walked upon this riverbank and the new moon or the full moon actually um, dawned upon him and he went and meditated under a Bodhi tree okay and he told himself that he would attain enlightenment under this Bodhi tree and he meditated during the full moon and he literally attained to his enlightenment okay and that is the story of how Gautama Buddha became enlightened it's a very beautiful story like I said samsaras is what did it for him okay he literally went above and beyond and he attained his enlightenment okay so basically what is enlightenment now enlightenment if we break the word down it's basically translates to in light in mint so mint means mental so mind lighten means awareness or consciousness and in so put light or consciousness in your mind and you then have a state of enlightenment it is a homecoming okay it is not a attainment in actuality is it is truly a homecoming because it more depends on the disidentification with your mind and all of the information that's accumulated and chaotically bounced around throughout your life and a disidentification with the body itself as well so when you come to disidentify with the mind and the body and its distortions and its illusions and its chaos then you are dropping so you're unlearning things that you have known your entire life and this is what brings about enlightenment which is basically being able to experience the totality of the entirety of the universe or the totality of the universe 
like basically it's universal consciousness when you experience the universe literally as yourself you are in enlightenment you are an enlightened being you have you have had this experience this deep deep mystical experience can bring about enlightenment and further bring about liberation okay it's uh, a it's a coming into knowledge it is becoming a knower buddha buddha if you do not know actually means an awakened being okay and the root of buddha is bud buddha bud and bud means growth because becoming awakened to your actuality which is the universal consciousness that you truly are is the canonical process that all humanity attains to which is why the root word in buddha means growth which is bud bud means growth and it is our natural growth process to awaken and become enlightened or become a an awakened being or someone who is in knowledge of the true existence of their being which is the fact that you are a god or a goddess or you are the universal energy or you are everything okay the mind and body will not let you experience this because everything teaches you throughout your years of growing up that you are not the entire universe but in actuality when you come to disidentify with the distortions of the mind and body then you can in clarification experience the entire universe and have mystical experience for yourself which is truly truly life changing and literally allows you to go beyond life and death Okay, I thank you guys for watching. That was the story on how Gautama Buddha became enlightened and that was a simple simple explanation on enlightenment. Subscribe right here if you are enjoying the content. Watch this video and drop a like for me if you want to see more. Generate some static electricity from your ethereal body. It needs to be realized and strengthened throughout this rise in vibration and consciousness. I love you guys. Have a great day and peace out.